Recently, many of you may have heard journalists and commentators using the expression deep state. You may have heard them say, the deep state is threatening our democracy, or the deep state is conspiring against the president, or help, help, agents of the deep state are coming to, and then a high-pitched scream followed by a horrific gurgling noise and an ominous silence. You may have found yourself asking, what is the deep state? You may have then found yourself vanishing off the face of the earth, leaving nothing but a pair of eyeglasses, a gold tooth, and a trail of blood. Well, today, I'd like to explain to you the meaning of the term deep state. The deep state is that group of influential people in bureaucratic agencies, intelligence services, and the military who tend to remain in positions of power no matter who gets elected. The deep state is not a conspiracy in the sense of faceless evildoers gathering in secret locations to thwart any threat against their interests. Most of them do have faces, although they like to hang back in the shadows, making their faces difficult to see. Mostly, however, they simply go about the business of making regulations, gathering information, and arranging the mysterious deaths of anyone who opposes them. Now, we all need government regulations and intelligence, but the deep state can get out of control. During the Obama administration, for instance, there were so many new and restrictive regulations that they increased our energy and medical costs, hampered small businesses, reduced internet innovation, and ultimately cost taxpayers a stupendous $100 billion every year. Here's how it works. Let's say Congress constitutionally passes a clean water law, making it illegal to dump toxic chemicals into public waterways. The Environmental Protection Agency then issues a regulation declaring your toilet a public waterway and forbidding you to go to the bathroom for the rest of your life. If you sue the EPA because you need to use the bathroom, the courts will cite the Chevron rule, which says only the EPA can decide if the EPA is violating the rules of the EPA. If you say, wait, what? That's crazy. Then videos of your online sex with a 16-year-old girl named Starlight, who's really a 47-year-old fat man named Shlomo, will inexplicably turn up on HBO. If you cancel your HBO in protest, you could then be fined $100,000 a day until the fine reaches $14 million or you disappear without a trace, whichever comes first. Leftists and the media, but I repeat myself, tend to love the deep state because it empowers elites like themselves to outlaw the life choices of all those annoying we the people types in the flyover states. Therefore, if a president comes into office who threatens to oppose the deep state, the deep state may retaliate by leaking his secrets to a compliant press who will then spin them into hysterical conspiracy theories, allowing intelligence agencies to tangle him in useless investigations. Fortunately, I can tell you that that can't happen here. I can't tell you that it can happen here because then I'd be killed. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show. Recently, many of you may have heard journalists and commentators using the expression deep state. You may have heard them say, the deep state is threatening our democracy, or the deep state is conspiring against the president, or help, help, agents of the deep state are coming to, and then a high-pitched scream followed by a horrific gurgling noise and an ominous silence. You may have found yourself asking, what is the deep state? You may have then found yourself vanishing off the face of the earth, leaving nothing but a pair of eyeglasses, a gold tooth, and a trail of blood. Well, today, I'd like to explain to you the meaning of the term deep state. The deep state is that group of influential people in bureaucratic agencies, intelligence services, and the military who tend to remain in positions of power no matter who gets elected. The deep state is not a conspiracy in the sense of faceless evildoers gathering in secret locations to thwart any threat against their interests.